Sam Davies has been running courses for speaking English as a foreign language online from her home in Raynham for years. She has students of all ages across the world, from Brazil to Thailand. She was inspired to start this informal meeting group to practice speaking skills at the end of last year. The cafe is just basically a space where um, primarily people whose first language isn't English can come, meet new people, learn a little bit about the area and practice their, their language. Um, but it has also now kind of grown from that and we do have quite a lot of English people coming to practice other languages as well. The great thing is obviously helping, you know, the local community and, and the more people know about it, the more, you know, the more people can come and, and enjoy it and the more languages we have come, the, you know, the better it is and the, great, and the better the atmosphere is here as well. For some Ukrainian families, this cafe is their second stop after arriving with their English host families. Other nationalities include Turkish, Malaysian, Spanish, French and Hungarian. Catalan Hrebenko Squires wanted to make new friends after moving to Raynham when she met her husband. Meet people who I can talk, get out, meeting new traditional people. And it's, this is a good group because I'm from, from Hungary and people are from here everywhere. And it's, I find that this group is good. It's the dual language club, so... I might can find some Hungarian, can find Romanian, Ukrainian, Scottish, Turkish. Among the first people to support the cafe was Sam Davies' former Spanish teacher who came to the first meeting in February. I think what Sam has done is absolutely amazing. It makes me feel very proud as a teacher that she herself has become a teacher and it is brilliant at her job and has managed to bring this group together and from the time that we came the first time it was only about four or five of us and now it's absolutely thriving. For Sam Davies the group is a chance to embrace everything that she loves about different cultures. Being in a place with an international community is where I, where I like to be, it's where I feel happy, you know, I just, you, I just don't think you get that kind of open-mindedness, that atmosphere, that kind of um, curiosity um, in any other real places. Um, so that's kind of one side of it. Um, and, you know, I've been sort of promoting my online business for, the, for sort of two years now. And, you know, I'm always telling my students, you need to practice, you need to get out there and you need to practice. But I realised that actually, it's actually quite hard to do. And, um, you know, there's people that come to the cafe who have been here for uh, possibly years, but don't necessarily work with English, don't live in with, you know, with English people. And therefore, actually, they're their language skills do become a bit stunted unless they can come out and, and really use them in a place like this. The group meets every two weeks on Thursday nights from 6.30pm at the Moat House coffee shop in Crow Lane, Rochester. Anyone who's interested in meeting new people and practising their English is warmly welcomed. Sandy Fleming for Raynham News.